Well, it appears history was made on Election Day in L.A. County. It looks like all five L.A. County supervisors will now be women for the first time. NBC4's Kim Baldonado reports. Virtual celebrations are part of the new normal in 2020, and it appears so too are women leaders in Los Angeles County. I absolutely did not anticipate the numbers that we saw last night at all. Although votes are still being counted, State Senator Holly Mitchell has a commanding lead over her challenger, Herb Wesson, who has already called her to concede. Once her victory is official, it will be historic since it will be the first time all five LA County Board of Supervisors will be women. So when you think about the 125 years that it was all male, this is a great opportunity. Uh, I believe that women lead differently, and that's not a judgment. Um, it's not saying that it's better or worse, that we just lead very differently. Mitchell has held public office for a decade, but Nithya Raman, sure the newcomer running for LA City Council, seemed to come out of nowhere to take 52% of the votes in her race against sorry. incumbent David Ryu. The last time that an incumbent was toppled was, I believe, in 2003, and it was by Villaraigosa, you know, who had already had a significant state name and presence and power. Raman is an urban planner, former executive director of Time's Up Entertainment and founder of a neighborhood homeless coalition. There is one very urgent thing that we need to be doing right now, which is making sure that we are trying to stem the tide of people falling into homelessness. If Raman prevails, three out of the 15 city council members will be women. Growing up, I didn't see a lot of women uh, in, in political office. Um, I didn't see a lot of people who had my skin color who were in uh, positions of leadership. While Raman says she didn't grow up wanting to run for office, she says she's glad she did in part to inspire her own daughter. I want her to know that she never has to think twice about stepping up into leadership positions herself. In Los Angeles, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.